Hello, my name is Lisa Chernenko. I'm a doctoral student at the Oxford Internet Institute, and this is a promo video for my paper for the ACM web conference. My paper is called Outgroup Dehumanization in Telegram, the role of in-group identity and perception. Dehumanization is defined as the act of perceiving or treating of people as less than human. Uh, several uh, researchers suggested some NLP tools for automatic uh, detection of uh, dehumanization in language. However, these tools have not been tested against ground truth, and also they seem to be solely focused on aspects of our group perceptions, perception, while theories suggest potential role of in-group perception dehumanization as well. To address these research gaps, I start by creating a contrasted data set of dehumanizing versus neutral posts of Telegram news channels. Then I measure certain variables relevant to dehumanization phenomenon of which I will speak later. And then I compare dehumanizing and neutral posts to judge what better explains the difference and thus, what better explains the phenomenon of dehumanization. So in addition to the very general definition uh, of dehumanization, Theory suggests that when our group is dehumanized, uh, our group members are treated as follows. They are less developed. They're all the same. They have no agency, cannot decide for themselves. They do not care for each other and in general are unwanted and disgusting. In formal terms, uh, this can be conceptualized as vertical comparison, deindividuation, denial of agency and communality indifference and humiliating emotions. As you can see, these concepts all focus certain aspects of our group perception. However, there is one more aspect in theory of dehumanization. Dehumanized out group is perceived as being very different from in-group. Formally, this can be described in terms of psychological distancing. And this gives us a clue that perception of in-group through its comparison with out group can play a role in dehumanization phenomenon. And to test that, when I compare dehumanizing in neutral posts, I also look uh, for what that explains the difference. Um, variables that focus on out-group perceptions or those describing in-group, out-group disparity in perception. Thus, my paper addresses two research questions. First, about language representation of dehumanization. And second, the role of in-group perception in dehumanization. To learn more, Please attend my presentation.